Hello, brothers and sisters. You are listening to Reverend Mary YouTube channel. Um, I want to bring you a word received on February the 10th, 2017. And yes, I had to write it down on napkins because that is what I had within my reach. Uh, but we are talking about the day of the Lord and his coming and the wrath that is to come after the church. It's going to be a simon simultaneous event. Uh, the righteous will be lifted out of this world, and then it will be the great day of the Lord. And brothers and sisters, according to what the Holy Spirit has um, shown to me today, we are right here. We are right before, uh, this is Revelation chapter 5 and then Revelation chapter 6. We are right before this about, it, it's about to occur. It is about to occur. You are to be repentant uh, before a holy God. Yes, we all make mistakes. No, not one is perfect, but the Lord is about to come back for his church. And it's going to be uh, within the blink of an eye, just like the word that he had previously gave. But it, it is it is approaching us very quickly. And so listen to this word, brothers and sisters, and those who are listening, as I shared this with you. And I apologize. Um, you know, I'm going to be holding the camera and I'm going to be reading what the Holy Spirit had given on February the 10th. And so uh, this is February the 10th, 2017 at 3.33 th in the afternoon. I had a daytime vision of two children in the Middle East. So I was shown a boy in a red jacket and a young girl. Um, she's in a white dress. And so they are between the ages of six and seven. And they are from the Middle East and they are looking at me. And I said, Lord, these children are your very heart. So much pain and terror they have grown accustomed to. And why? Why are we and why am I so blessed? And he, the Holy Spirit, said, They suffer from generations of rebellion and sin. The same is true with third world countries. They do not worship me, the creator of the world, the creator and father of all. America has been blessed and has continued in my blessings because of your forefathers um, and true believers of generations past. The United States has always been an ally, faithful to stand with my people and to help protect my land, Israel. But be awakened, generation of a new faith, a new way of thinking. You are surely sinking without a clue. Wake up and ask yourselves, are you holy and pure? Are you seeking me and my statutes in all manner of truth? You have recently, you have been recently spared because your President Trump vowed to stand with Israel. You came so close. And I'm just going to go ahead and just show you. I was trying to write it down so quickly. But uh, you came so close to utter ruin and destruction due to much corruption. Uh, there remains still much corruption. Continue in your wickedness and bring the destruction that was to be. Buttons are being pushed by this elected administration. Your president must take a stand to have the upper hand throughout the land. Make no mistake, he is indeed shaking things up. Keep your eyes on the heavenly dove. Call upon my holy name. In these times of trouble, before your nation is found in rubble, prepare, prepare so that you are not in despair. I will come in the appointed time in the air. You, my children, are found abiding faithfully in me. You will see the return of your king. More has to be played out. Listen for my shout. You come out. And you see this. You come out before. This earth is in complete and utter chaos and confusion. Uh, many are under a strong delusion. Satan has his hold on them. They, the unbelievers, worship Satan. They worship him. And when you abide faithful and true, don't be down and blue, discouraged without a clue. Because all you have to do is look around. Is your life grand? Have you not noticed your world is changing right before your face and at a rapid pace? Uh, take your place. All ye believers in me, Christ Jesus, your Messiah and King. Too many can't see. Where we are on the time clock of history to my children who have learned my holy word. All is revealed. This is not a time of mystery. This is a this is the winding down of sinful man. Think on this, my children. There are two groups of people, wicked and good. Those 
of Satan's seed and those who are and have grown to show my character. The wicked continue to dream of a better earth, a home that's here with sin and shame and corrupted government. The unit of family no longer uh, in my name as one man and one woman united in a holy institution. I'm going to try to get this where you can see it. Um, to bring forth beautiful, godly children of my light. No, the wicked and perverse generation says it's okay to live together and not be married. It's okay to share brotherly love and sisterly love in the open. No need for closed doors. Man is created with a brilliant mind. Whatever he decides to do is fine. Oh, but they are so blind and have grown ever so cold to even know who I am. America, your country is divided and will fall unless unite, unity is accomplished before your great fall. Stay on the path to righteousness, my children. Stand tall. As your nation begins to fall, prepare. As I have warned you, terrible things must still shortly come to pass. Those who are faithful will make it through. I have appointed you to be in this generation. I hope you can see this. To bear my fruit. Be prepared to share your earthly goods. Prepare my children. See the vision. America, your country is in much division. Very soon people will have the rug of complacency snatched from them. What do you place your trust in? Money, job, stability, relying on your own abilities. Beware for a bear, and I believe this is Russia, is seeking to destroy you. And then along with other nations, many will come together and uh, they will come against us. Because not only do you have division amongst yourselves, but while you think to live in peace and safety, sudden destruction comes. Nothing has changed. All prophecies remain until the faithful day of my earthly return. All nations burn upon my return. Know whose house you stand. Only the righteous remain. Only the righteous stand. The time of great tribulation is at hand. And he says, stop living for tomorrow. For much sorrow comes. Prepare, my children, for upcoming battles. Prepare for your nation to be at war. Conflict and strife have no place in your life, my children. Know what is coming. Read the end of my holy book. No mystery to unravel. America, your kingdom is not mentioned. Other countries right now are preparing to take you out of the way. If you are out of the way, then Israel can be within reach. Wake up, unbeliever. And I'm not speaking to the wicked, my children, who believe all will be a breeze. will soon feel the squeeze, the squeeze of suffering and much pain. Be ready, my children. All has been told. Do not rely on your own understanding. All is in my timing. I will punish all wicked, but too many have slipped and fallen in the ways of Balaam. Continue to grow together, showing hope and faith to those who will be utterly shaken and torn. You who are born of my spirit must lead and teach before I come. You are in a time of repentance. And this is not the first time he has said that. Before the eternal sentence, as in the days of Pharaoh, pestilence and plagues, darkness and death, be prepared to stay in the fight. In the end, you win. Do not shamefully waste in all you've been given, for it is written, you are not smitten. We're not going to be overtaken. We're not children of the dark. We're children of his light. Be assured you are taken on the day of my wrath. Be prepared, my children, to stay till then. And then he had, you know, Matthew 24, of course. But then today, um, I'm, I was praying because I didn't know when to put this word on. The Holy Spirit has led me to these. And I apologize. I'm trying to find them quickly for you. Um, it's up here. I'm sorry. 